Sweet. Hey everybody, we're just trying to kind of figure out our camera angle here real quick. Um, Matt, can you give me just a little bit of tissue so I can prop this up? Okay. Just like that, and they'll have a lot better. Right now we're getting the... I hope you guys are all ready to join us for the Mommy and Me Paint Night, where we're going to show you guys how to paint this abstract bubble painting live. Um, like I said, we're just trying to get our camera angle... Nope, I just need like a like a tissue or something. I just gotta tip it up just ever so slightly and then it'll give us the right angle. Faith's here! Girls, say hi yeah. to Faith! <laughs> Again. Yep. Yeah, that's awesome. Alright, hopefully you guys will enjoy our... Faith, are you gonna be painting with us tonight or are you just gonna be watching? Megan says hi. Jessica says hi. Tell me where everybody's from. And Granny just hopped on. Granny's watching our boys so we can just do a paint night with the girls tonight. A little less distraction. Katie says, Ashlyn says hello. No, Cashlyn says hello. Okay, so hopefully some of you guys saw our posts. Emily says, I love watching your videos. Thank you. And you guys were able to get the supplies and then you're going to be able to paint with us live. Um, next week, well, let me show you last week's project. Faith says, I'm going to be painting. I have all my stuff ready. Awesome. Hi. Emily says, I'm from Kentucky. Dana says, from South Carolina. Megan says, can you say hi to Megan? I sure can. Mom. So this is what we painted with you guys last week. Um, and that, we had fun doing it. That's that what, was mine. That is yours, huh? And this is what we're going to be painting tonight. And we'll show you guys. And then this is what we're going to be painting uh, next week. Oh, and I forgot. Let me grab one thing real quick. Where, if you, you can either paint it on flat, or we're going to show you how to paint it on a flower pot. So we'll have two different options for next week. So hopefully you guys will join us. What are you doing? <laughs> hey, everybody! My messy face. Yep. That's little cranky one-year-old who uh, wants to paint, too. Faces, I love how you girls are excited for me painting with you. Yep, they're excited that you're here, Faith. And Megan says, hi from Nevada. Okay, so hopefully you guys will join us next week with our flower painting. But as of right now, we're going to be painting this. Let's see, why did we go out of focus here? Let's see if we can figure out how to get it back in focus. I'm using a fish eye lens. Um, there we go, back in focus. Okay, to try to give us a little bit more space this week. Okay, so what we're going to need for this painting is we are going to need gray paint, black paint, and white paint, and then whatever color your painter decides that they want um, their bubbles to be. And, or balls. Or balls, yes. Malia wants to call them balls instead of bubbles, and that's totally fine. So we're going to, she wants to do hers pink. So we're going to use this shade of pink, and we'll change the shade with our different colors to be able to get all the different shades. So that's what we're going to be using here tonight. McKeely, when she does hers, my older daughter, will paint this teal. project twice. She wants to use teal. So those will be the colors that we're using tonight. And then all we need is we need uh, Ash. Alicia says, hi, I love your video. So glad I get to watch. Yeah. Alisa, Alicia, thank you for watching. What, Are sweetheart? you going to paint? Um, yeah, I'll probably paint along with you guys. So then we need a wide flat brush and then we need a small flat brush and these don't have to be fancy brushes these can totally just be um, you know cheap uh, well you don't want super super cheap ones because then all my bristles fall out but like this set of brushes was only like nine dollars so you don't have to do a lot of detail they're just your rustic basic brushes so that's what we're going to be using um, and then like we talked about last week there's two different things to paint on. You can either paint on a canvas like this. You can get one that's hooked to a board, or you can just get a flat one like this. Um, hey, Matt, can you make sure that you link to the supply list? Okay, and, um, and we have a link on there where you can order these. You can get 12 of them in a package, and they're like a dollar each. So that's a nice low-cost way to do it. If you don't want to do that, you can also just cut cereal boxes and you can paint on the back of cereal boxes. So that's another option that you have. Okay, you need a water station of some kind. 
and you need something to put your paint on. Okay, and before I forget, um, we are going to be actually doing a giveaway tonight. Somebody is going to receive a coupon for a free box of Noni's uh, Turtle Pecan Biscotti, and they are absolutely delicious. They come with these big chunks of caramel in them, and when you put them in your hot, hot chocolate, they get all chewy and yummy and delicious. So how we'll do that is everybody that makes comments and shares this video, we'll just put those all into random.org, and they will pick a winner. And tomorrow, after the video is played for 24 hours, hey, Amanda, Amanda just joined. Um, we will select a winner, and somebody will get drawn randomly to win a box of these delicious biscotti. Yes, they do look yummy, don't they? So make sure you guys interact, comment, like, share, um, to let Facebook know that you like our videos and that you'd like to see more of them. Okay, to start off with, we'll put up this up here for our inspiration. So you guys can see. Move these ones down. Sorry, one of these days I should do a video just so it's behind the scenes so you can see how weird and chaotic it is to uh, try to paint with a camera above your head. And Okay, uh, so if you, Malia, go ahead and get yourself a wide brush. This brush? Yep, a wide brush. So if you're using a canvas, okay, so what we're going to have to do here, sweetheart, is... No, you just need to move yours right there, and that way everybody can see yours, okay? Okay, so Malia is going to wet down her canvas first, because she has a canvas, and a canvas can kind of be can stiff. Can I do it? Yeah. With that paintbrush? Yeah, with that one, that one's fine. So we're just going to kind of wet down her canvas a little bit, and this will help the colors that she puts on not soak in right, right away. It will give her a little bit more blending power. Um, if you're super serious about, about painting, Dixie says, I love caramel, and James says, yum. <laughs> Linda says, I love turtle pecan anything. So do I. That's, I was pretty excited when they sent me those. So, okay, so now if you're going to be painting on just cardboard, we don't want to get our surface too wet because it will curl. So we're not going to get mine wet, but we're going to go and get hers wet. So we are going to um, start out by, you want to make sure you got your brush wet, which we already did. Um, so we're going to get our white, and then we're going to get some gray. Somebody give me a shout out. How many of you are painting along with us? How many of you are doing this live so I know how fast or how slow I need to do it? So I need gray, black, and white and yep. one other color. Gray, black, and white. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our wide flat brush. Mia says we are. Yay, Mia. Good. Okay. And Faith already is. And Faith already is, right? You know that, huh? Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'm actually going to take a little piece of tape. And since, and I'm going to tape my thing just to the, my two-year-old Justin and I are awesome. Mia, great. Danielle says, I wish I would have known or ahead of time or I would love to do this. Danielle, we would love to have you next week. And I think if you've been on, you'll see that this is next week's project. And um, so plan to join us next week, same time, same place. And uh, we'll show you how to paint that one. Okay, so we're going to put these down just so it kind of holds our thing in place. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to get our brush. It's already a little bit wet. Not too wet, but a little bit wet. Kayla hey. said we painted the sunset so they can't wait to do this one. Awesome, Kayla. And that is the fun thing about the live videos is you can join us live, but if you happen to miss it, you can watch it back and you guys can paint these whenever it's convenient for you. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to load our brush with the white. And we're going to give ourselves a thick white. And you're not going to be able to see it very much on here, but go ahead and give yourself a thick white stripe down the middle. On the middle? Uh-huh. On the middle? Yep. Down the middle. You got it on the table. Well, well we put a cover, down. so that's what. Yeah, you want to protect your table with something. I went ahead and put some clear plastic down. 
got it from the dollar store. We did. <laughs> Anybody else love the dollar store? We love the dollar store here in our family. Okay, so we have our thick white stripe there in the middle. Okay, how's your white stripe going? You got it? It's hard to see if you're painting on a white canvas, but okay, I think you got it. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and we're going to load our brush. We already have a little bit of white in our brush, but we're now going to dip into that gray color. And we're going to do a gray stripe. And I'm going to do the same thing and put a gray stripe on this side. Okay. Now it's easier. Yep, now it's easier to see, huh? What if I blend with the white? Okay, now right now it looks pretty, just it looks like we're, we're doing um, big thick lines and we want it to look more like it's faded. So what we're going to do is we're now going to pick up a little bit more white and we're going to go back over that first gray line. We're going to need a little bit more paint. Can you do it without washing your brush so it's gray and white, right? Yep, so don't wash your brush. You go ahead and leave your brush loaded with the color. Okay. So now go ahead and pick up the white again, and we're going to go back over our gray line. We're just going to paint it. Until now you can't see any of the gray. Yeah, you can. Yeah. It's just blended. It just looks like you can't see it. Now do the same thing right here. Okay. And you want to try to blend this way, okay? Because you want that middle part to be white. This looks good, Malia. Yeah, she did a good job, didn't she? Okay, so now we're going to pick up that gray a little bit. We're just going to do another line out here. Add a little bit more gray. How's the speed for those of you that are painting along with us? Is it going okay? Are we going too fast? Okay, tell me. Give me some feedback. Okay, so now we want to load our brush with the gray again, but we're going to dab a little bit in the black, too. Go ahead. Yep. And then I'm just going to stick it right there like that, and we're going to paint another stripe. Okay, so I'm going to get gray, dab in the black, and then blend it like that, and we're going to paint another stripe. Karen says doing great. Okay, good, Karen. Okay, so once again, we have some pretty distinct lines. So what we're going to do to make those lines blend is we are going to grab some more gray. And we're going to go back over that line that we just did that had the black in it. And that's going to help blend our black and gray. And that will just help us blend everything together. And if it looks like you're, see how I'm starting to kind of get like some drag marks? All i got to do is add just a tiny bit of water to my brush, pounce it out on the plate, and then go back over it. Because you don't want your brush to get too dry or you start getting those drag marks. All right, how are we doing over there, Malia? Good. And I'm actually getting too much um, Why is gray. this color darker than this color? Uh, so I'm going to add a little bit of white. I'm just going to go back over that. There we go. That looks better. Okay. Now I still have a little bit more edge space on mine, so what I'm going to do is I am now going to go back to that darker color that we had that we're kind of mixing, and then I'm going to go ahead and take some of that black. We don't want all black, or it'll be way too, uh, so we're going to just kind of get more black than gray this time. We're going to go ahead and do a stripe. I don't have any more room. We'll just make room, just add some.